Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to compute the area between two curves. Before we get started, we're going to take a look at the strategy, it's a five-step strategy for finding the area between two curves. Step number one is to sketch. Step two is to orient the slice. Step three is to label. Step four is to set up your integral using these two formulas. And step number five is to evaluate your integral. All right, let's take a look at this problem. Um, this problem was extracted from the 2014 um, AP Calc response questions. I made a slight modification to the problem. Um, part B is actually the problem that was presented in, in the question. Um, in the AP exam, but um, I added part A just to help you see how to set up um, the initial situation to solve part B, okay? So part A reads, find the expression for finding the area of, a, of, of, um, of R, a region bounded by a horizontal line with the y-intercept of 4 and the function f of x equals x to the fourth minus 2.3x to the third plus four. And then part B, we have to find the vertical line x equals k that divides r, which is the region, into two regions with equal areas. Write but do not evaluate an equation involving integral expressions whose solution gives the value of k. All right, let's start with the first part, part A. We want to go ahead and find the um, area of the region. The steps, the strategy that I provided earlier with the steps are here for your reference. Now let's take a look at step number one. We have to sketch the curve. In this problem, in the AP exam, the, the graph of the curve was provided. Okay, this was a calculator active section, so you could use your calculator to sketch the graph. Okay, so using the calculator, we can draw a graph like this. I made use of my computer to draw the graph. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to orient our slice. Now, how do we orient our slice? Do we want to slice horizontally or vertically? Now, we want to slice in a direction that ensures that we are not intersecting a function more than once. If we slice horizontally, we'll be intersecting the function, the green function more than once, and that could be problematic. So the smart strategy here will be to slice our um, area, this region right here. We want to slice it um, vertically, up and down. Okay, so that's the orientation of our slice. We're going to be slicing up down. Okay, now that we've had the orientation of our slice, step three, is to label our functions. Um, this horizontal line right here going through the line, um, going through y equals four, is a function that's on the top of this region right here. So we're gonna call this f top, is a function of x, and it is equal to four, okay? So the function on the top, and the function of x is equal to four, now, the function on the bottom of this region that we're finding the area right here um, is the function, it's called f bottom, of x, that's equal to what we were given earlier, which is, let's see, what is it, x to the fourth minus 2.3x to the third plus 4. Okay, so we have the function on the top and the function on the bottom. We also need to um, label our points of intersection. Since we are slicing vertically, that means we're going to be inter integrating in the other direction, namely horizontally, okay? So we need to know what our um, x inter our, the x-coordinates of the intersection here and here are, okay? But what we're going to do is find the intersection um, of these two curves at these two points. 
Okay, I'm going to walk you through how to find the intersection um, of these two curves using the TI-89 titanium graphing calculator. Okay, this is one of the best calculators um, you can use. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to enter these two functions. <clears throat> so the first function is y equals 4, enter, and then the second function is x raised to the fourth power minus 2.3x raised to the third power plus plus 4. Enter. All right, let's go ahead and graph the function. <clears throat> Diamond F3 will generate the graph of the function for us. So that's the top function right there, f of x equals 4. And then the bottom function is there for you, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to make use of the um, window zoom option to um, basically get a nicer view of the region that we want to find the area of, okay? So what we're going to do is make use of the zoom box option, okay? The zoom box option is under F2. You press F2. What the zoom box does is it creates a, a window um, in order for you to zoom into the particular contents of that window. Okay, so zoom box, press enter. Now it asks you for the upper left corner of the window you would like to uh, create. So take a look at the graph we have right here. This is what we care about. Okay, so we want to move the upper left corner somewhere in the second quadrant right here. So let's do that. Shift it somewhere above y equals 4 to the left of the point of intersection. Okay, that's good enough. Press enter. Now the second corner, we want it somewhere down here so that we can capture the entire region. So let's use our cursor to extend um, the right side of our box past the point of intersection. And then we'll use our down arrow to, to extend the window to go beneath um, the region. Okay, so when we press enter, observe what happens. Press enter. Now what we have is the graph sketched in such a way that we are focusing mainly on the region that we are working with. Okay, so this enables us to carry out our computations with ease. Now, the first point of intersection, we can clearly see that it is uh, 0, 4. Let's go ahead and write that down. The first point of intersection is this point right here is 0, 4. How about this point of intersection right here? Well, let me just let's compute this one first of all, just to make sure that it is in fact 0, 4. Now, let's go back to a calculator. Um, to calculate the point of intersection, we go to F5, that's the math menu, scroll down to option 5, intersection, press enter. It asks you for the first curve, press enter, the graph of y equals 4, and then it asks you for the second curve, press enter. You might wonder why it's asking that question. You might have more than two curves, okay? So in this case, you have just two, so um, you, you can clearly see why it's asking you, asking you that question. Now it asks for the lower bound. What does this mean? It means that you want to move the cursor to a point that's to the left of the point of intersection. So move your cursor to any point to the left of the intersection that you're looking for. So there you have it, press enter. Now you see an arrow pointing to the right. This is telling us that the calculator is going to compute the intersection of the points to the right of where this arrow is pointing. And then it asks for the upper bound. So you scroll to a point to the left of the uh, where the arrow is pointing and to the right, I'm sorry, to the right of where the arrow is pointing and to the right of the point of intersection. Press enter. 
and then we have this value right here. This is this is basically zero, okay, and a zero comma four. Okay, now what we're going to do next is take uh, look for the point of intersection for the second value right here. Same procedure, F5, intersection, press five, press curve, the horizontal line, press enter, second curve is the other line right here, the fourth power uh, polynomial function, press enter, and then it asks for upper bound. Now, when it asks for first and second curve, notice how it marks them, okay? Lower bound, do you recall what the lower bound means? The lower bound is any point, any value to the left of the point of intersection that you're looking for. So any point to the left of this point, you press enter, points to the right, and then scroll to the right. For the upper bound, press enter, and we have the intersection 2.3 and 4, okay? So that's how you find um, the points of intersection using the TI-89 titanium calculator. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. X coordinate is 2.3, Y coordinate is four. Okay, now that we're done labeling our function completely, we are ready to set up our integral for the area. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and set that up. For the A part, we have to set up the expression for the area. So A is, we have two options here. If we're slicing vertically, then we're going to use the first option, and then horizontally, we'll use the second option. We're slicing vertically, so we're going to use the formula, the integral um, of x from the left all the way to x, um, x on the right side, of a function of um, <clears throat> the function on the top and bottom. That's what we're looking at here. So let's see what we have. Function on the top, put that in blue. Function on the top of x minus the function um, on the bottom function on the bottom of x of x and then we are going to um, multiply that by dx okay so this is the formula that we're going to be using to compute the area of the region between these two curves the reason that we're using this area this formula is because our slice is vertical okay if it were horizontal we'll be using something else so there goes your um, region, the region that you're computing the area of. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and do it. Just set it up, sorry. So to set it up, we have A is equal to the integral, the left, X left, this X left is zero, okay? The X coordinate to the left is zero. And then the X coordinate to the right is 2.3. The function on the top, is 4 minus the function on the bottom is x to the fourth minus 2.3 x to the third plus 4 dx. Okay, so that's the answer for that a part. Okay, now let's do the b part. It says, um, the vertical line x equals k divides r into two regions with equal areas. Write but do not evaluate an equation involving integral expressions whose solution gives the value of k. So um, to do that, we'll simply, let's pick a particular, a, a x value, an x value here that represents um, k. Okay, so we have a vertical line that we're going to be drawing. So let's let's just draw let's draw the vertical line right here. Okay, and then we can trace it down. Now, why are we drawing a vertical line? Well, that vertical line is our particular is our k value that represents the point in which you integrate two to get the half of the entire area. 
So it, what we just did is we partitioned the region from zero all the way to 2.3. This area right here, all the way to K, is half of the entire area going from zero to A. If going from zero to K is half the entire area, then what's this? This is also half of the entire area. Okay, so we are asked to set up an equation to find um, the value of K, okay? So to do that, we're simply going to set it up as follows. <coughs> Part B is going to be half of the entire area is equal to the integral from zero to K, okay? of this expression right here. So half of the entire area is going to be the same thing as the integral from zero to k. So it's going to be that we're just going to use the same procedure here. Um, the integrand does not change. All we are changing is the limits are the limits of integration. So 4 minus x to the fourth minus 2.3 x to the third plus 4 dx. Okay, and we know what A is. In part A, A represents the area of the entire region between the two functions. So our final equation is going to be um, <clears throat> one half of the entire area, which is the integral from zero to 2.3 um, times four minus, we can distribute the four for one third x to the four plus 2.3 x to the third minus 4 dx, this entire expression is equal to the integral from 0 to k, because when you're integrating from 0 to k, you're going to get the half, you're going to get half of the entire area, okay? So 0 to k of 4 minus, just distribute the minus x to the fourth plus 2.3 x to the third minus 4 dx. So this is the expression that if you solve for it, you will find the value of k. Okay, so let's take a look at a visual just to help you really see um, what is happening in action. So, um, so let's illustrate what the area of the entire region looks like, okay? So there goes the area of the entire region between the two functions, okay? the complete area, and that's represented by the integral from 0 to 2.3 of 4 minus f of x, okay? Now, what if we want to solve for k? k is going to be a value somewhere here <clears throat> that represents um, half of the area, okay? So let's go ahead and look for that k value right there, okay? So that is the particular k value that uh, represents the limit of integration that you have to integrate to in order to get half of the entire area, okay? So you can see it right here. Um, there are two ways you can write it. Zero to K represents half of the entire area, or you can write it from K to 2.3, that's the unshaded region right here, is also half of the area, entire area, which is an integral from zero to 2.3 of 4 minus f of x dx, okay? So hopefully this um, visualization helps you to understand um, what's going on. But thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to um, subscribe to our channel for updates to other cool tutorials such as this. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, please include it in the comments section below. Uh, we'll be glad to address it as soon as possible. More clips can be found on mathgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.